Hi, Libra. Libra, November. What's going on? November 2019. For Libra. What's going on for Libra? In November. Libra, what's going to be happening for you in November? Libra, Libra. November. What is going on? In the center, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Crossing that, we have the King of Swords. Nope, Justice. He looks like the King of Swords, but he this is Justice. Underneath, we have the King of Wands. In the past, we had the Moon. Above, we have the Three of Wands. Near future, Knight of Pentacles. You are currently the Five of Swords. Okay. Around you, Eight of Wands. Hopes and Fears, Magician. And the outcome is the devil. Okay, guys, let's see, Libra, what's going on? So currently you are evaluating the situation. You've worked hard at something. And you're seeing how it's going to go. Maybe... Maybe looking at things and deciding if this, if you want to keep going down this, this road here. Crossing that, you have justice. So, justice is about making sure you do the right thing. Making sure you do what's ethical and moral. It's very, very um, important to do what's ethical and moral in this situation. That should be your focus, because that may, if you don't do that, that may be trip, that may trip you up. Well, there may be a lack of justice going on at the moment, and that's why you're, that's why you're contemplating where you're at. Underneath. We have the King of Wands. That's a very, um, a very strong leadership type energy. Um, this is someone who, who follows their own heart. Someone who um, doesn't necessarily listen to others because they have their own um, inner compass. A very strong, very very strong inner compass. In the past, there was some confusion. So we have the moon card here. I think you're starting to see things a little more clearly now, though. Above, this is really looking out to get a um, bigger perspective. This is foresight. You see something coming. You can see it coming, whatever it is. In the near future, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is a conservative, steady, stable, planning type energy. So I see a more stable energy coming in in the near future. Currently, you're walking away from something. It's like a, a fight you can't win. I see this as you. Somebody is not, this person's fighting and um, doing everything they can to win. Not necessarily good things. I think that's where this justice card is coming in. Someone's not, someone's not playing fair. 
and you're walking away from it. You're walking away from this, this, this situation. Or maybe you lost against this person in some way. And that's why you're we reevaluating things because you can see, you can see what's coming around you. Things are changing very quickly, very quickly. Or this could also be a whole bunch of information coming in about this situation. Hopes and fears are that you can manifest things in the direction you want them to go in, that you'll have the resources you need. And then the outcome is the devil card. So in some rare cases, the devil card can be about following your instincts. And usually this card is sort of a sort of a card about um, behaving in a helpless sort of way and not taking control of a situation, but I'm I'm not feeling that in this situation. I'm feeling like this is you following your instincts. Like you're like, for example, if you're hungry, you eat. Or if you're not feeling well, you stay home from work, that kind of a thing. I feel like this is you're going to be following your instincts. Because there's foresight here. And there's planning here. There's having a plan. I really do see this as an instinctual kind of energy. Sometimes um, uh, people don't pay attention to that like they should. But I think in this case, especially with this card here and the Justice card, that it's important to pay attention to that in this case. I'm going to pull a, a guidance card just in case. Let's see. See if we get anything extra on that devil card. Because I know that scares some people, but it's really, it's not really. Because um, even if, um, this is something, it's always about something that you want to do. Not necessarily something you should do, but it's always about something that you want to do. Let's see if we have any. Extra guidance right, just in case. Let's see what we get. Coyote spirit. Okay. Trust in divine detours. So, yeah, this is all the coyote is also um, kind of a trickster card. I think that's kind of this energy. I do see that. So, Follow your instincts. If you need to detour, change, this can be a change. You're evaluating and probably changing your plans about something. So follow your instincts. Very, We have two very instinctual cards there. Don't worry, guys. You'll be okay. Just follow your instincts. Use that foresight that you have here to make your plan. Thanks, guys.